Good morning, y'all. Susie here. Thanks so much for joining me today. Um, I am going to try something new today. So I've got all my Christmas decoration done, and let's be honest, y'all, my Christmas decorating budget is gone. So I still have to do the porch, and other than a few wreaths, I have nothing for the porch. So I am going to go out on our property and forage for some things today, maybe make some Charlie Brown Christmas trees on the porch. I do have one idea from something I seen on Pottery Barn website. It's a um, pine cone swag, and I'm gonna try to make that. So I've gathered a bunch of pine cones and I'm probably gonna get some more in the woods. I don't think I'm gonna have to go far in the woods because I can see a lot of pretty evergreens just going down our driveway. I wanna try to find something with red, some berries or some, I don't know, some kind of red twigs and uh, just see what happens. Um, so yeah, hopefully I can find some stuff and I'm gonna take you guys along with me and see what I can come up with. And I've got the um, four wheeler ready here. Let's see, with a few things I know, I know I'm gonna need. Uh, I've got gloves, clippers, I've gotta get my shovel and I'm gonna get a box, of, you know, to throw some small stuff in. Um, nobody, uh, before I go, though, I am going to spray paint these. Um, they're here, they're free, they're ugly color. So I'm gonna spray paint them black so that maybe they'll be dry by the time we get back. Um, it is gloomy day and I'm trying to beat the rain. Um, so yeah, uh, let's get going. I've got my lovely orange hat on. There shouldn't be anybody hunting on our property, but it is hunting season. And just to be safe, I want to make sure if anybody can see me, if that is the case. pretty and very soft so that's perfect I definitely want some of those I don't want this entire tree I just want some of those So I'm really close to the house still and as you can see I have a pretty good bit of greenery back there already so I'm gonna take this back and unload it at the house so I have more room and we'll go further onto the property and see what else we can find
I'm wondering if I can get some of that moss right there. Let's go see. Oh yeah, super soft. Oh, sorry, I had a glove in my mouth. Yeah, that's super soft. We're gonna grab some of that moss. That'll be really pretty. that perfect red green berries. Let me grab a few of these. I think that's all we're gonna need. I don't wanna get too many of the berries and I'm about out of room on the four-wheeler. So I'll take you guys a little bit further on the property if I can without losing a bunch of stuff. And then we'll head back and work on this stuff. I didn't take you further into the woods because I found out my father-in-law was actually hunting over on their side and I didn't want to take a chance of spooking any deer. So I headed back. We'll do that some other time. Okay, here's what I've got. I've got a box full of pine cones, some of this real soft green stuff, some just regular old pine, and the berry green. And then I actually, these are just right behind the house. These two actual little trees. I don't know if you can tell. When I get them potted up, they may be Charlie Brown trees, but I think they'll be cute once I fill them in. Um, I have a plan to something to hang here that we're about to work on. I'm going to pot a couple of trees to put there and there. I may make a sign and I have an, um going to do another swag for there. I'm not going to do a whole lot for the porch. We sit out here a lot. Uh, we don't do it in the winter. But, um, so I just want something pretty and inviting to come home to when I get out of the car. This is the door that we use all the time. So, um, yeah, let's see what we can come up with. I've been watching on YouTube Garden Answer, and she made these pine cone swags, and they're absolutely beautiful. I picked up all these pine cones earlier. Um, her pine cones were all... A beautiful brown and I'm pretty sure she is from up north somewhere so it's a different kind of pine and they didn't have the pricklies um, I'm still gonna give it a try I may not be able to do as many um, as she did um, mine are not a pretty brown so 
I've got them all laid out here. I'm gonna give them a light dusting of white, I think, before I start working with them. Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, how richly God has decked thee. Okay, I'm gonna let that side dry. I found that glitter stuff, so I put a little bit of it on there. If I don't like it, there are plenty more. Where this came from, no problem. I love that Flash waited until I went to get the scissors to come check out what I'm working on here. So I'm gonna work on potting these two trees and maybe fill them in a little bit. As you can see, this tree did not hold, so I went and got a few rocks just to give them a little more stability. I'm attempting to make this pine cone swag that I seen on a Pottery Barn. I'm gonna put a picture of it here. This was my inspiration. I don't have the same type greens, um, but I do have pine cones and I do have berries and I do have some greens. I'm gonna see what I can come up with. 
that one was $99. So anything I can come up with that is free is going to be great. I started by just um, wiring all the limbs together and then I put a, a thing of jute twine around it and now I am hooking the pine cone to the bottom of the jute twine. Um, looking back, I think I should have done more of those, but I just did a couple and they look pretty good. The rest of the cones I decided just to try to hot glue to the stems and it worked all right. And I made a simple two loop bow. I'm terrible at making bows and especially with ribbon that is not both sides and doesn't have good wire, but I just did the best I could with this because it is what I had. And I'm trying not to buy anything for this. out great I made two one for the laundry room door and one for the window hey y'all think I finally got this porch about ready to show you it's almost all completely natural other than a few fairy lights and I think it's gonna be really cute especially in the evening so let's take a look all right so I cut a little bit of firewood to put down here and those are some of the pine cones that I painted. There's a little natural floral arrangement. And this has these um, plastic shutters that I painted a while back behind it. Um, and then there is one of the pine cone swags that I made. I think they're so pretty. I'm really happy with how they turned out. And then moving on over here, I have our red chairs. Eventually, I would like to put some kind of more comfortable, cozy, you know, outdoor furniture out here. But for now, they work fine. And I've got my first little Charlie Brown tree here with the tea lights on it. I had a bow on it to begin with, and I thought that just did not look natural. So it's a cedar. And then I put some of the berries in the bottom and that's the painted black um container i put it in i can't think of the word planter <laughs> there you go and i had this red and green apple basket and i just stuck a few more 
natural greenery in it. I made this sign. I already had the wood put together. So I just stuck this on there. I put some of my pine cones and berries in my little lantern. This rug came from Five Below. It's been out here a while, you can tell, and the dogs have really been loving it. I put my welcome sign in the corner between the laundry room door and the kitchen door. This wreath is not natural. I've had it, but I thought it went well with the pine combs and all. And there's another swag. I think, I think this one's my favorite. I think it's because it has more pine cones. I just hung them up with um, command strips. They seem to be holding together really well, so hopefully they'll stay. I don't know how long anything's gonna stay green, but we'll see. And here's my little, other little Charlie Brown tree. And the lights are so pretty. I can't wait till it gets dark so I can see them. I put some more firewood down here. This is an old planter. I stuck some pine cones in the base. Stuck some berries in this little tree. This one looked okay with a bow in it. And I put the other shutter back there with some greenery in it. I'm loving how this turned out and it cost me zero dollars. I had everything that I needed. Um, I hope y'all have enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of long, but I had a lot to get done and I had so much fun doing it. I'll see y'all again next time.